Hi everybody, Tiffany Tillman here with another edition of Q&A Wednesday, a weekly feature at simplytiffanystudios.com dedicated to answering your digital scrapbooking questions. This week's question was submitted by Leah, and Leah's question is, Tiffany, I'm a digital scrapbooking newbie, and I've learned a lot of cool tricks visiting your website. My question might seem like a no-brainer, but can you teach me the easiest way to change the color of a simple element? Everything I've read or watched makes it look so hard with lots of steps. And maybe you have a way to make it simple. Well, Leah, you're in luck because I do. In today's lesson, I'm going to share the absolute easiest, cheesiest, rice and peasiest way to change an element's color with an extra bonus tip of my own. And today's lesson works for both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements users. So start your engines, digi scrappers, because I'm revving up to share. First, let's define some boundaries. There are single color elements, and then there are elements with only a few colors. And then there are multi-colored elements. Now, Leah's question refers to single colored elements, so we'll begin there. And here's what we do. Open an embellishment and add it to your layout. Then click on the Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer icon in the Layers panel. And choose Solid Color from the flyout. Immediately, your canvas will change to the color in the foreground color picker. Eh, that's not a problem. We can fix that. Simply create a clipping mask from the adjustment layer to the element. Beginners like Leah can go to the top menu and select layers and then create clipping mask or group, depending on which program you're using. And now that color change is corralled to just the element. So far, so good. Well, not so good because now the digital embellishment has lost all of its texture, its lighting and characteristics. So we'll need to go a step further. Now, anyone who has taken a class with me knows that I uber love me some blend modes. I think blend modes are one of Adobe's greatest gifts bestowed onto us pixel crafters. Some blend modes are quite popular, like Multiply. Others are a bit less popular, like Exclusion. But there's one super secret blend mode that makes changing the colors of a digital embellishment easy and quick. It's color, color baby. Applying a color blend mode to a solid color adjustment layer will instantly change the element below. And the best part, you can choose any color from the color picker rainbow. Now, why is that so important, Tiff? Why is having the option to choose any color from the picker so important? Well, for starters, with a single click of your mouse, you can adjust the element's color, saturation, tint, shade, tone, or hue. You can sample colors from your open digital scrapbook pages, digital kit previews, color swatches, you name it, you can do it. And now you have an incredible professional color change. And not only that, the highlights, the shading and texture on the element is unaffected. You can't blow the highlights or underexpose the shadows. Everything looks perfect. And since you're using an adjustment layer, you can change the color selection at any time in the future. Do that. How smoking cool is that? I promised a bonus technique and I'm going to give it to you. A technique straight out of my digital bag of tricks. Changing the colors of single elements is, is I. But what do you do when you only want the color change to affect just a portion of the element, not all of it? Well, I'm glad you asked because adjustment layers always feature a handy dandy layers mask. 
And using the layers mask, you can conceal portions of the solid color adjustment. To do that, click on the layers mask in the adjustment layer. You'll notice a white corners appear around the mask when it's actually targeted. Then switch to the brush tool, keyboard shortcut B, grab a soft round brush from the listing, and paint a little black on the element. Now you're not actually painting black on the element, you're painting black on the layers mask. But what happens when you paint black on a layers mask? You'll begin to conceal portions of that mask. And if you paint in white, you'll actually reveal portions of that mask. You can see the changes being made right here on the mask. So with your brush tool and the mask, you can conceal the parts of the solid color adjustment in the areas that you designate. And even after you finish concealing portions of the mask, you can still change the color of the element as often as you want. Leah, that's the A to your Q. All right, if you found this video to be helpful and know a digital scrapbooker who could benefit from this set of techniques, please email them and let them know or use any of the sharing buttons below, they work too. And if you're looking for more amazing digital blending techniques, check out my self-paced workshop, The Digital Scrapbooker's Guide to Blending, over at ReneePearson.com. Have a question you'd like to see answered here on Simply Tiffany's Q&A Wednesday? Click on the Submit a Question link and send it to me. Remember, if your question is chosen, I'll send you a $10 gift certificate good for any product at my Design House Digital Store. All right, girls, until next Wednesday's Q&A, happy scrapbooking.